Well, <clears throat> here it is, Friday. The weekend is upon us. Well, it is kind of. <sighs> Drinking a little tea. Back here you see my... This is for my uh, garden beds for next season. I've got some more to build. I've got more wood for the crates I need to build, fruit crates. Gonna have to get down my my heater. It is uh, about that time of the year again. Um, but tonight, tonight, in amongst this mess, I have to assemble this. So this is the unboxing. Now, I've already busted the bands. This is a yard bird. Yard bird chicken plucker machine. I had one before. Actually, I didn't have it. My buddy Buzzy had it. Buzzy let me use it, and we kind of did it together. If you go back in the end, you'll see there where we uh, did some birds and plucked them and cleaned them up. Well... When I moved, because of work, I had to leave my buddy Buzzy alone, and he done sold that thing. So, well, that's the way it goes. Buzzy built it, too. It was a great little machine. I digress. We are talking about the Yardbird. Yardbird is a good-priced unit. Very strong. Direct drive, no belts. And uh, it's uh, got a... One and a half horse motor. Lots and lots of little fingers for plucking. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take her apart out of this here box and then we're going to assemble it. Now right now I don't have any chickens to do. But I reckon that won't be too long before I finally get out there and get it done. Being as it's cold now and we're expecting a lot of cold, I'm going to be in this garage for a little while working. And I'm going to assemble this booger because I want to get it all fired up, ready to go. I find that if you leave it set and you don't test it out, sure as goodness, you're going to end up needing it, put it together, and there's going to be something wrong. So I suggest you take care of it right away. Hence the issue I had with the big stove. So, all right, so we're going to go ahead and take it apart and this is the box that it came in hopefully you don't see my finger got a good deal on it so it whoops so here we go I keep forgetting and, and I, I, I. anyway that's enough jibber jabber gotta get to work See you later. We'll let you see it when it's done. Okay. <clears throat> Got the box open. What it tells you to do is flip this over and then set the motor down inside of it opposite of how it comes in. Pull all your parts, which I did. There's a wheel and a wheel and some other parts and some bolts. Some axles I already pulled. This is the actual tub. That's the spinner down there. So this is how you will look in it when you throw the birds in there. We've got some shorties on the top. And then some longer ones. And then the uh, base plate. All right. Let me get the rest of it here and we'll get her set up. Be right back. Okay. All right, so... <clears throat> We uh, put the wheels on, put the legs on, flipped it over, put it up in here. Uh, let's see, we've got a control switch here. Looks like they put a nut in there so that it doesn't uh, get broken in shipment, which is cool. Uh, the only thing I did different was when I put these on, and it has a needle bearing in there um, they're kind of really a coarse heavy bearing uh, but I put a little lithium grease on it because uh, 
like all the stuff I run around out there on my little farm, all the moisture and stuff gets in there and I don't want to have it jam up. So it so far looks good. Got a little arrows pointing the right way. See that? Woo! Actually did a good job. All right, so a little more. Be back in a minute. Okay. It's up and running. Now, of course, the water isn't on, so it's not spraying water down. There is a connection over here for that, right here, the garden hose. Not bad, not bad. Got a pretty good wind blowing out here, yeah. Mm. So the hardest part of the assembly was in the base plate. Here, let me shut this off for a second. There are three down there in the corner. You see these, these three right here? They're facing the other way. I uh, can assume so my assumption would be that they are cleaning out the feathers underneath uh, towards the uh, dump chute. Now because of the way they package it, they leave the one on the very outside out here out and you have to put it in. My suggestion is you get somebody to hold the plate. You put a little bit of dish, dish soap on the uh, the end of it that's uh, going into the plate, that mushroom head. And get yourself a good set of uh, channel locks. And uh, pull it through. Kind of go to the right and then go to the left. You'll get it. It'll pop in. And then you just go around and pull it through. If you try it by hand, well, you're a tougher dude than me. Because I couldn't pull it through. I got close, but I could not get it past that. So I had to go get somebody to hold the plate while I was pulling, and then I was able to get it in. So, Anyway, that's the toughest part. Our uh, yard bird won't be used now until spring, of course. We'll have our first batch go out there, and uh, we'll be in business. I know it's a little early I got it, but uh, uh, I always like to make sure everything's ready to go. Springtime comes, and... I'll be ready to work. So we're good to go. Back to building my my boxes. Woo! See you later.